Hello there, you're watching The Buzz and this is what caught our attention across social media in the footy world this week. Now, unless you've been living under a rock, Game of Thrones is back. Yes, that's right. We've been waiting nearly two years for the final season and it all kicked off finally last night. Who will sit on the Iron Throne at the end? Well, it's certainly not going to be this guy. And after a bad loss at the MCG to the Bombers, it's unlikely to be Chris Fagan. But could it be the pugger of all dragons? Either way, Adelaide defender Tom Duday has been obsessively tweeting about the show, while D-star Angus Brayshaw was up and about. <laughs> Lions goal sneak Charlie Cameron was suitably impressed with the first episode, and don't worry guys, no spoilers. Now, Game of Thrones wasn't the only thing that had people flocking to their TV screens. An insane number of people were up at 4am on Monday morning to witness Tiger Woods win his fifth green jacket at Augusta. Amazing stuff there from Tiger. He really is the GOAT. From one Tiger to another, this time in Adelaide, Shane Edwards led the side after the entire leadership group fell over ahead of him. Sound familiar? Well, it did to Dylan Grimes, who spotted the man best known for keeping his feet, Winter Olympic gold medalist Stephen Bradbury. Koch and Rance, of course, loved it. Speaking of love, the Bombers fans are absolutely smitten with Anthony McDonald, Tip and Woody after his seven-goal haul against the Lions. The excitement machine taking to Twitter just to let everyone know he's happy with Tipper or Waller as his nickname, but Goat and Coleman have been other popular suggestions. Now, fellow crowd favourite Eddie Betts has won his fair share of games and he plays his 300th this week, but he certainly lost out at dinner with Crows teammate Cam Ellis Yolman. The last credit card pays for the meal and the goal sneak couldn't wriggle his way out of this one. Yes! Yes! yes. Your shout, Eddie. <laughs> yeah, you're paying up. We all love a little bit of sibling rivalry and Dee's co-captain Nathan Jones is no different burning off brother Zach last week and he was quick to stick the boots in as well. We're still waiting for Zach's comeback but so far crickets. Luke McDonald did his best to improve the Kangas engine room before his 100th game. A bit of muscle on and off the ground. And as good as that is, the best flex has to be awarded to Mark Howard featuring Chris Judd and our very own Damien Barrett. We've got Dale Morris coming in and we're talking about Damo and his new muscle car. The tunes, the car, the style, these blokes sure know how to live. Well done, Damo. And that is The Buzz for this week. Catch you soon.